Hey mom, 31 week update. Home stretch, nine more weeks to go. Feeling all the fatigue, but pushing through it, right? That's what we do, push through it until we can't, then we cry, and then we push through it again. <laughs> Hashtag pregnancy. <laughs> uh, I have just been having a bunch of heartburn, really is the main symptom I have. Feet are starting to hurt a little bit, but they're not swollen yet. Woo! Hands, our joints are a little bit swollen, can't get my thumb ring on anymore, but I still feel good. Still drinking all that water, uh, eating food. I tried to eat some scrambled eggs, the food I couldn't really eat during the first pregnancy. Well, it was the food that John kind of forced me to eat a few days when I was sick, and I really tried hard to eat them, I think too hard, because now I can't eat them without getting nauseous. <laughs> uh, so, it's uh, there's a chance that our child won't like scrambled eggs, but she'll like all the other weird stuff I've been feeding her, like you know, octopus and eggplant and oxtail and, uh, you know, chocolate. <laughs> so weird. I know. A kid who likes chocolate. Mm. Uh, she's as big as a fanny pack. Man, so big this fanny pack just can't stay inside its shirt. Girlfriend, please. Your mother's a lady. She's moving around a lot. Her head can now turn, suckling on the fingers and the feet, maybe. I don't know because we don't get a lot of ultrasounds. We only got that one anatomy one. Uh, however, I think I'm going to see about getting another one just to see her. And it's mostly just because I want to see her. I, you may have heard I was in a little bit of a fender bender on Friday but we're okay. So I was a little worried, um, but I was just really stressed out when it happened, so I got myself a little sick and was worried that was something was wrong with her, but it's not. Sorry for not calling you and freaking you out, but I knew I was just overreacting. Uh, everything's good, and my insurance says it's not my fault. However, my insurance will not fight for it to be their fault in case their insurance says it's not their fault either because it's minimal damage means I pay for it why would they fight to make the other insurance pay for it if they're not gonna have to pay out anyway I mean if I see how the business works now yes that's how the system works unfortunately uh, I'm gonna really try not to be working as far as I do um, in the future. Just, you know, be closer to home, less prone to jerks who like to come in your lane, I guess. All right, so moving on. I feel Ashley moving a lot, yeah. Uh, she's reacting, her five senses are developed fully, brain's still supercharged developing right now as she's growing her fat. Uh, she's supposed to have a big old fat growth spurt this week. Uh, she's, I mean, just everything. She's moving a lot more now, uh, which is great. She's not a jerk about it at all like she used to be. She used to just, it was like she was like a Frankenstein, kind of like, brr, brr. But now she's like, oh, what's up, mama? Oh, I feel you over there, hey. She just likes to do flips right now, kind of little, just feels like little mittens, rubber mittens inside, caressing my organs. <sighs> Creepy. Creepy AF. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to put that word in your, your brain, Mom. Uh, but she's, she hasn't really done anything jerky to me, like stuck her foot in my rib or anything. However, I'm very 
hopeful that that will happen because most moms have that story. I want to be that mom that has that story. Uh, my emotions are all right. Uh, been pretty good. I got sad a few times this week. John did really well at just petting me. So if any guys need <laughs> need a tip on what do I do when my woman's crying or upset, just treat her like a kitty. Just pet her and just look at her like she's the cutest thing ever. It works. I mean, didn't get me to stop crying so much, but I felt better and I eventually stopped crying. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> I uh, just put that together that he was petting me like a cat. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I think my biggest concern right now is her not coming on time. Uh, if she doesn't come at Christmas and decides to come next year, I'm worried. I just don't want it. I want a December baby. I don't want a January baby. True, insurance is cheaper right now this year versus next year. And true, I get a tax write-off. And, I mean, is it such a bad thing to want her to come on time? I mean, am I a horrible mom? I was talking to John about maybe getting a C-section at the last day of the year. Kind of make her come on time. He wasn't really into that idea. I don't know. He said, he's like, because I'm doing a, a birthing center, so he's like, oh, I thought you are on this natural birth kick. And I was like, dude, it's not about natural birth. I'm going to do natural birth because the birthing center doesn't have any drugs or anything. <laughs> I'll do it because I like the birthing center. I like the process. I love the way they treat me and the way they're going to treat Ashlyn when she's born it just feels right it doesn't feel like hospitals I don't there's not a bunch of waiting in the waiting rooms uh, for my appointments it's just it's been amazing it's been amazing <sighs> so I don't know maybe he's right I'm being a jerk by wanting her to come on time for money but money's always been a thing to me since I was a kid, you know that. I've always saved. But maybe getting a C-section to save $1,500 or so is a little dramatic. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. It'd be also kind of cool to have her, you know, not be a couple weeks late. Because I hear that gets worse. Um... So, send all your best wishes for her to come on time, please. And I'll just keep trying to stress out about it so that she comes early. <laughs> your stress kills. Uh, that came out wrong. I'm not trying to kill her. It's just stress apparently makes babies come out early. I'm just going to stop digging that hole. You want to see Ashlyn? Okay. Let me show you Ashlyn. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> there she is. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I'll have to send you a little side by side picture soon. Because she is popping. A little fanny pack. Uh, she. Here's her head. Oh, no, I'm wrong. That's her booty. <laughs> She's like this <laughs> right now. Little squishy booty. <laughs> yeah, her head's right there. Um, so still kind of neat being able to tell where she is now because she's getting so much bigger. Oh, I just reflex laid down on my stomach. <laughs> Sorry, Ashlyn. Okay. Sorry for the long video again. Uh, 
Uh, but I love you, and there's there's my update. Bye, mom.